Good morning, everybody. Hello, and welcome back. It is so good to see you guys. My name is Joel. My name is Gavin. And this is a stable life. Guys, it is good to have you with us. We are excited because we're back on the camera. That's right, our camera is fixed. It is a completely new one. The last one was basically completely destroyed beyond repair. So we are happy to have this one. We're ready. Are we ready? I can't hear you. Oh, we're ready. Gavin has gotten here. In fact, I'm late. Look at that, 9.43. Tsk, tsk, tsk. We have all the manure on both sides out in the aisleways because it's Tuesday and manure day is supposed to be Saturday. So it's like we're returning to old times for this week and this week only. Gavin actually had some things he had to do on Saturday, so he wasn't able to get the manure on Saturday. So we're doing a Tuesday. Exciting. As for horses, everyone's actually looking pretty good other than there are some fresh cuts on Danny and Gavin that we have to take care of. But I'm happy to say that hoof issues are to a minimum, which is exciting. Good morning. I almost called you Duke, because you look like Duke right now. Coco, hello Coco. We used to have a horse named Duke. He actually was mine for a little while and he looks just like Coco. Sorry, honey, one second, one second, one second. I know, one second. Hold the phone. There we go. Duke's back? <laughs> Gavin's got the oil for Samson. So Samson is on oil to help him with his fat. He actually needs more of it, believe it or not. Honey, let me get your grain. There you go, princess. Eat up. Morning, girls. Wow, look at the fall color. That hill is like peak right now. Wow, it's so pretty, so pretty. Morning, Rocky. Morning, Buster. You like how I did that different order? That was oh pretty God. crazy. Just so you guys are aware, Buster is still a little, kind of a little punk. So viewer discretion advised, he will get aggressive when I dump this food. So now we'll feed Rocky, because Buster's gonna continue to be angry until Rocky's over here. There. His ears are still pinned. He's still upset. <laughs> Just to be clear, it's not entirely Buster. Rocky was like that, but he lost. So now it's just Buster, but it, it's both of them. It's not just one or the other. It really is both of them. Super adorable. Today, we are actually forecasted to break a record. It's supposed to be the highest temperature ever recorded, October 22nd. So they're calling for mid eighties today, <laughs> which is insane. And the moon is out. Moon, sun. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. Look at all these horses. My goodness. Now you guys may have noticed that, you know, hey, everything looks a little different. And it's not just the new camera. No, everything actually is a little different. In fact, it's been a couple days since we've recorded anything on the stable. And that is because my wife and I, we actually went on vacation. It was pretty nice. We went on a cruise up into Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. We actually took some videos. We weren't gonna make a dedicated video out of it this time around, but I know a few of you guys would like to see what happened. So here's just a tiny little snippet of our vacation.
and a much needed rest, especially after that massive week long rush trying to get that barn set up and ready. While we were away, Gavin actually took care of the days that I normally feed and our cute little cat Kita. So thank you very much, Gavin. Appreciate that very much. And also here's an update on my mom. While we were away, her leg actually got a lot better. In fact, things are looking really good. Next time I see her, we'll have her talk to you guys, but short story, she's doing well. Thank you for all of your consideration. We really appreciate it. And here is an adorable picture of Kita with Leia. So cute. So Gavin and my mom took care of things while we were away, which is why out of nowhere, there's just fall color everywhere. And I know what you're thinking, Joel, you really should have planned that better. That's a pretty awful time for a vacation. Well, we didn't expect the barn delivery to be a month delayed, nor did we expect the time to all happen at the same thing. You see that vacation was actually scheduled, oh, uh, well, about a year before we went on it and everything just ended up falling on that place. You know, it is what it is. Horses. Oh, let's feed them. You know, I miss these guys. Oh man, just something, it was really nice, but just, just something special about being home. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Bella. Hey, Diego. Diego has actually been going to his stall. So I don't know if anything's changed while I've been away, but let's, let's, let's find out. Are you talking about Diego? Yeah. Watch this. I'm watching, I'm excited. Never mind. <laughs> well, that didn't work out, sorry. Sorry, Ebony. Sorry, Jack. Hey, champ. Watch that. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, you know, <laughs> George and Ava. Good morning, all of you. Yes, what beauties. Well, there you go. So on camera, it looks like nothing's changed, but he's actually been really good for what, three weeks now? Yeah, he's been yeah. every single morning going into his stall. Afternoon is always the same. He does what he just did. But yeah. morning, it's usually he's pretty good. Maybe he saw the new camera and thought he'd want to give you guys a show. Hello, Suede. Good morning. Hello, Weather. And good morning, Spitfire. Morning, Danny and Declan, Poe and Skywalker, Obi and Tucker, Samson and Argento, Archer and Gavin. <laughs> Almost ran me over there. Sriracha. And I think that's everybody. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of wanting to head on down to the build site and seeing how things look after a little over a week. No work has been done on the barn while I was away at all. My parents took the opportunity to use it as a little bit of a breather. So they kind of just focused on doing the day-to-day -day stuff. Same for Gavin. So all work froze. Ugh, did it. The birds like landing on that little power cable. Birds, what are you gonna do? So now that we are back at the stable, there's a few things that I'd like to do because the stable has been I'm not gonna use the term neglected, but not prioritized since we've been working so hard on the hay barn. And I would like to do some cleaning up. One of those things is our lower ring and our left run have been used extensively. And well, you know, it's just looking a little, a little trash, a little dirty. So we're gonna clean that up. We're gonna clean this up and we also are gonna get all the manure out. Before we do any of those things though, I'm gonna go get my tractor so I can use my yard rake because otherwise this is gonna take us a lot of time and the horses don't have that kind of time. They need to be out, they need to be eating hay. That's where they need to be, right Gavin? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We wanna ride with me in my truck so we can go get the tractor? Let's do it. We actually got the new starter attached and put on the tractor and it did not fix the issue. So the starter is not an issue. So I'm Tom and talking with the tractor dealership. We're still working on it. It's a little frustrating. I might have to end up running it down to the dealership again for them to work on it. And they, they uh, kind of said the same thing I was thinking, which is, you know, it's kind of frustrating this happened after we fixed it because otherwise we could have just worked on all of this at the same time and whatnot, so. It is what it is. I'm not gonna lose sleep over this. And I'm happy that I can still drive it and use it. That being said, Gavin and I are gonna need to pull it out of the garage and I'm gonna need to pull start it going down the hill. But I pretty much got that down. So this really is just a matter of getting the tractor and hooking it back up and running. We took it over to the house and put it in the garage because we wanted a clean environment to put the starter on. Starter's on, didn't fix the issue. We gotta get her back in the dirt. Oh, so here it is. Look at that, new starter. Can you see that down there, right there? You can tell because it's silver. Oh, it looks pretty. It's pretty much good to go. Putting the fuses in. I think the battery's fully connected. I'm really happy that this tractor can run being clutched down a hill. I don't plan on buying a new tractor, like ever again. Like this just is my forever tractor. 
but if for some reason that ever ends up happening, seriously think I'm gonna get one that can be pull started in the in this event because otherwise this tractor would be just just done. Like I could not use it at all. And that would not be good. Oh I forgot to put the battery cover on. Uno momento. Everything's in neutral. It's already in four-wheel drive, so you just gotta pull me out nice and slow. Yay, we're out of the, the garage. You know, just, just usual tractor activities. Okay, that's good right there. Get this set up for a pool start. Ah, we're ready to go. <laughs> tractor is back. We're happy about that. I'm gonna hook that up to the loader. We're gonna be just kind of using that to clean up everything. Gavin's coming on in here because we're gonna be loading all these muck buckets up. And while he's here, I'm gonna load them up for him since, you know, he's he's just an awesome guy. We gotta help him out. What do you think, Declan? That would be a good spot. Maybe right here. I think it's safe to say that that's a pretty heaped load. <laughs> yeah. First load, that's all the barn. Next load will be the lower ring. Now, what are the odds this is gonna hook up like nothing? I'm gonna say minimal. We'll see though. It decided to be difficult, but we got it. <laughs> so time is getting away from us. It's 11:30, which is kind of crazy. So we are going to work on turning out. Gavin is working on in there and told me to just, you know, just go work on turning out, and that way the horses are out, and then we'll work around them afterwards. So I agree. Thus, let's get the horses turned out. There you go, princess. Enjoy your day, honey. See, the rest of the horses are all just chill. And one thing I noticed is the pasture. It looks like the dead of winter kind of pasture or early spring. We're gonna have to really be watching our hay feeders now because that's gonna be their primary source of food from now till oh, April, March, depending on how warm things get and how early it is. All of our horses are out and eating. Gavin's on his way back up with the multi-lander. Got that area cleaned up, all that old hay taken out, which is nice. So that is uh, lunchtime. However, we aren't gonna be eating with the family. My wife has sadly developed a cold I think that she got from our vacation. So we're keeping our distance from the family. Don't wanna risk getting everyone else sick. We're on the tail end of things, but we just like to be safe. Go figure, right? Anyway, that being said, Gavin and I are gonna actually head on over and we're gonna get food just ourselves and get some fuel, because we're actually out of fuel. And then we'll head on back here and get started on cleaning up everything else. Well, you guys have not seen the build site in the daylight since the trench has been dug. Look at him go. So here you go, this is how things look. This is, as things stand now, it's kind of exciting. There's the trench and it's glory. Everything's looking pretty good. So there's a horse trailer down here. This is going to be our, yeah, kind of like our, our office, our build site office, storage area, you know, thing. So this inside here is where all of the lights and the generator is, as well as tools for the build site. You can see there's some quick crete in here and the main reason I'm here, that fuel tank there, because we are out of fuel. Also plywood. The plywood, we want to make sure it doesn't warp so it's not with the rest of the wood. Plywood's really, really sensitive to warping, so, you know, didn't want that to happen. There's all the building materials as well as it looks like the tarps have moved a little bit on one of them, so we're going to recover those. Also, some new things here. You can see we got some marks dug out on the sides here. These marks are for the gutter system, so the gutter system is going to be hooked in to these here and then connected into the pipes that are in the ground. So the water will go out and off the roof, hit the gutter, through the gutter, down the rain spout, into our trench system, 
and then out and off away it goes. So that's exciting. So this is how things look right now. Next on the list of things to be done for the hay barn is actually putting in all the piping, all the underground drainage and piping. So this all looks really well covered. Happy with that. These are our corner posts, these big six by sixes, and I would like them to be, you know, covered, even though they are the first things going in the ground. And then there's also some four by sixes here that are timbers that are going to be part of the hay feeder system that's going to be in the barn. So exciting. But everything else looks really good. Over there's the door. This is all the stuff that came on the second load. I never talked about that either, but yeah, this is all building materials on the second load. That was the first load. Just cool, just very cool. We won't be doing anything down here today though, or in this video. This video is all about the horse stable. I'm getting stuff with that. Now that the excavator is gone, which was not ours, <laughs> the insane push and rush is gone with it. So we, we're just building this as we have time to build it. It's, it's just what it is. If we're putting a roof on and it's January, well, it's January and congratulations, we've hit the part where it's time to put a roof on. It's pretty exciting. See, it's all perspective. Perspective is reality, as they say. Well, lunch is over. Gavin and I ate in the truck. It was quite tasty. He's bringing the quad around. We'll fill that on up. And then we are going to go and work on cleaning up the feeders and then getting some new hay put in for them. I gotta tell you, this grapple makes things so effortless moving these feeders. It's so awesome. This is some old hay. This is back from 2023. It's been sitting out here for about a year. We're mopping it up. Bye, Peter! <laughs> right there, perfect. Oh my goodness, I have a tripod and a GoPro so I can like put this down and get like actual footage. It's warm out here, guys. Man, is it warm. Horses will take care of the rest. Nice thing about outside feeders. And we just gotta get the other one. Did I mention I love grapples? Just a few times. We'll get that one too, so those are clean. Move that bale out of the enclosed feeder into the outside feeder, and then it's time to get hay. Come on, let's go boys. And Ebony. Yeah, hello. George. As you guys can see, we're feeding for the afternoon. Gavin and I are about to go do hay, but we thought before we did hay, Let's let the horses in and get them fed because otherwise they're not going to want to come in with the fresh round bales out. I think honey's already out here. I hope anyway. Hey girl. Perfect. Cheers. After hay, we'll turn all those horses out and then we're done for today. Right, Gavin? He's, he's got headphones in so he can't hear me. Right? Yeah, give me the head nod. All right, you want one of these bad girls in the wagon? So good news, guys. The multi-lander can take a bale. Look at it. It's pretty. So that's good to know. What do you mean? I've been looking for that. Someone ran it over. Who would do that? It's five o'clock already. I got family dinner at home, so we're only gonna put in what we need to get us through to Thursday, and then Thursday will be when we put in grain. And I gotta turn all the horses out. They're all ready to get turned out, all of them. Horses are fed, dinner is ready, Gavin is invited. It is time to go, so you guys know what that means. It's time to end the video, I think. Wanna hit, tell, give them the reminders? Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you like the channel and want to see more in the future. Temperature got up to 83 degrees today. So I don't know if that broke any records. I'll find out probably tomorrow. But other than that, 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. You went up to Nova Scotia? Yeah, Nova Scotia. Yeah. I like Nova Scotia. This is bloopers. Yeah. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. <laughs> it's a fun name to say, it really is. So you might be thinking to yourself, how come you guys are taking the truck, um, getting the tractor out? I always do that, you might be thinking to yourself, as I'm introducing a thought. Scratch that entirely. No, they're not even thinking about it. They're not even thinking about it. I don't know why I'm saying you might be thinking about this. You're probably not. Someone's thinking about it. Maybe. <laughs> What happened, Gavin? <laughs> I was rocking out with some music and some guy hit me with a, with a bail. What if you were hiding and the guy just didn't see you at all? I was telling him to look around. Because <laughs> you were just gone. I didn't know where you went. And then I saw your flannel bounce and I was like, that was one of the funniest I things. I just stood there, resumed my music and was like, and then I got hit. <laughs> We take safety very seriously on this farm. 